we are recreating the entire UC Berkeley campus in Minecraft. Officially, it's called Blockly, so it's kind of a play on words of Berkeley and Minecraft blocks. The feeling of walking around is eerily similar to walking around it in real life. Minecraft lets us build in three-dimensional space using meter-by-meter -meter cubes that allow us to do pretty decent likenesses of all the buildings on campus. Initially, we were just going to build the stadium, but then after that, we're just like, hey, we finished the stadium, let's keep adding on more things. And then soon it kind of tumbled into this <laughs> entire campus project. Effectively, in a month, we've built pretty much every single building on the entire UC Berkeley campus. There are students from all over the world that are working on this. None of the team has actually met each other in real life. Communication is very well organized across a couple of different systems, all online. The voice chats, Zoom meetings every once in a while. We have created a virtual community that is based on our members of UC Berkeley. I kind of see this as a pretty big experiment into how a virtual resource can impact people's lives just as much as a physical space. We're also planning on setting some kind of campus tour up because students aren't going to be able to come onto the campus. We have some tour guides who do it officially that are really interested and a lot of the incoming class really want to see what campus looks like and it does feel like an actual tour. It's a pretty special and unique thing and can be quite emotional, especially for the seniors who are graduating this year. They don't get that closure, so it really gives them the kind of outlet to say, okay, this is my final step here. Our goal with using this structure is to host a commencement ceremony on the day that our commencement ceremony would have actually happened. I'm imagining just the entire campus-wide party. And we'll have the party start off early in the afternoon and then eventually around the evening, we'll have this virtual ceremony at the stadium. And after that, the party continues on. Because of how quickly this exploded, we're actually also adding on top of that a musical event for the purpose of raising money for COVID-19. There is an overwhelming positive response if you go online and you kind of look at the comments, people are getting pretty emotional about it because of how lifelike it is and how much effort the builders are putting into putting these campuses up and adding those little details that make it special. It's gonna be an open day for everyone to just explore campus, kind of relive their memories, take photos. And for those who don't have Minecraft, we will be streaming all of this. So it's totally fine if you don't have the game or your computer can't run the game. There's so many ways we're looking forward to allow you to participate. The commencement is May 16th. I think we're gonna put out a Google form and post it on the big university pages to see who's really interested, maybe a sign up thing to get your diploma. We are in the process of figuring out how to give everyone a cap and gown and be able to toss it up and kind of have that last celebratory moment. We want to show the world that the class of 2020, even just Berkeley class of 2020, we've gone through so much. We've gone through protests, we've gone through power outages, we've gone through fires, but I think this whole project itself shows our resilience and our ability to carry on. So right now is also a very difficult time for many students, but doing this, we're showing the world that we can carry on.